Can you imagine living for half a millennium? There's a creature in our oceans that can. Picture this, a Greenland shark swimming through the icy depths of the Arctic and North Atlantic oceans. These mysterious creatures are not only the longest living vertebrates on Earth, but they also have an astonishingly long lifespan that can reach up to 500 years. Yes, you heard it right, 500 years. Just think of the historical events that have transpired during the lifespan of the oldest Greenland sharks. It's mind-boggling to realize that a shark swimming in our oceans today might have been alive when the Jamestown settlement was established in the early 17th century. It's a living testament to the passage of time, a silent observer of centuries of human history. This incredible longevity puts our human lifespan into a humbling perspective. So, next time you think about the oldest living creatures, don't forget about the Greenland shark. Gold is valuable, but have you ever heard of spices being worth more? In the age of exploration, certain spices like cinnamon and nutmeg were so prized that they were worth more than their weight in gold. Imagine that, a pinch of nutmeg costing more than a gold coin. Unbelievable, isn't it? Nutmeg, with its warm, sweet flavor, was especially valuable. It was so coveted that the Dutch even traded their colony of New Amsterdam, which we now know as the bustling metropolis of New York, to the British. And what did they get in return? A tiny island in Indonesia, the world's sole producer of nutmeg at the time. This spice trade was no small potatoes. It shaped our world, influencing the rise and fall of empires, and even redrawing the map of the world as we know it. So next time you sprinkle nutmeg on your latte, remember, you're adding a dash of world history. No wonder your pumpkin spice latte is pricey. Did you know some bacteria have found a sneaky place to hide in your body? It's the human bladder. A recent study has revealed that numerous bacterial strains have made the bladder wall their hideout. A discovery that could explain why urinary tract infections often persist even after antibiotic treatment. Imagine this! These microscopic organisms are not just hiding, but also adapting and thriving in such an unexpected environment. And here's an electrifying twist. Some of these bacteria can actually produce electricity under certain conditions. Yes, you heard it right. These bacterial squatters are capable of generating their own power supply. This groundbreaking study not only enhances our understanding of bacterial behavior, but also offers a fresh perspective on how to approach urinary tract infections, a common but often stubborn medical issue. Who knew bacteria could be such shocking squatters? Ever wonder how zebras got their stripes or leopards their spots? Well, it's not just a random design choice by Mother Nature. Recent research has unlocked some of the secrets behind these fascinating patterns. Scientists have used mathematical models and computer simulations to demonstrate how these striking designs come to life. At the heart of this process are chemical reactions and cell movements. These two elements work together in a complex dance. Just imagine. Each zebra's unique set of stripes, each leopard's distinctive spots, are the result of countless chemical reactions happening at a microscopic level. These reactions guide the movements of pigment cells during the animal's development. As these cells move and multiply, they create the intricate patterns that make these animals so recognizable. From the bold stripes of a zebra, to the complex spots of a leopard, to the vibrant designs on tropical fish, these patterns are a testament to the marvels of nature. Nature's own artists, aren't they? We're getting closer to creating life in a lab. Now, isn't that a thrilling thought? Imagine a world where life as we know it isn't just born or grown, but also built. This isn't just a dream, but a reality that scientists are inching closer to every day. Take yeast, for example. Simple but essential yeast is a key ingredient in many of our favorite foods. But what if we could create it synthetically in a lab? Well. Researchers have managed to do just that. They've combined more than seven synthetic chromosomes, built piece by piece, into a single yeast cell. This new strain boasts over 50% synthetic DNA, yet it survives and replicates similarly to its natural counterparts. This is a monumental leap towards creating artificial life forms from scratch. It's like something straight out of a science fiction novel, isn't it? But it's happening here and now. Artificial life, straight from a science fiction novel. Science has resurrected a 450 million year old fossil, sort of. 
Welcome to the world of soft botic organisms, a realm where the past and the future intertwine. A team of brilliant minds from around the globe joined forces to create a marvel that mimics the structure and function of a fossil called Tribrachidium III, a creature that swam the oceans nearly half a billion years ago. This soft botic organism isn't just a static model. It goes beyond the realm of pure mimicry and into the domain of functionality. It moves. Yes, you heard it right. This organism wiggles and wriggles using a complex network of fluid-filled chambers and valves. But it doesn't stop there. It has a primitive form of perception too, responding to light stimuli, much like the ancient Tribrachidium III might have. It's a fascinating blend of biology and technology, a testament to human ingenuity. It's an ancient creature, reborn in the heart of a lab. A blast from the past, brought to life by modern technology. Got a sweet tooth? November is your month. As we delve into the delicious world of desserts, let's shine a spotlight on a southern classic, the banana pudding. This scrumptious concoction has been a staple of southern cuisine for over a century, tracing its roots back to the 19th century. Interestingly, the original recipe didn't feature the vanilla wafers we're familiar with today. Instead, it called for sponge cake, or ladyfingers as the base. The shift to vanilla wafers only occurred in the 1920s, adding another layer of flavour to this beloved dessert. Celebrated throughout November, Banana Pudding Lovers Month is a tribute to this creamy delight. It's a time when fans of this sweet treat indulge in its vanilla-infused, banana-filled goodness, perhaps even experimenting with new twists on the traditional recipe. So as the leaves turn and the air chills, remember to save room for dessert. After all, what better way to celebrate the arrival of winter than with a comforting bowl of banana pudding? So, are you ready for some sweet indulgence? November is about more than just cold weather. It's a month that's truly a feast for the senses and the appetite. In the United States, the presidential elections always take place in November. A tradition dating back to colonial times sees some Americans celebrating this event with an election day cake. A spiced fruit cake that perfectly encapsulates the spirit of the season. But the elections aren't the only thing on the menu in November. This is the month of food, where culinary maestros get a chance to shine and food enthusiasts find themselves in gastronomic heaven. As the winter chill starts to bite, it's time to tuck into hearty meals, savouring the flavours of the season. It's a time when we fill our plates and our hearts, preparing ourselves for the colder months ahead. So next time you're biting into a slice of election day cake, remember, who knew politics could be so delicious? In Finland, November has a rather dark name. It's called Marasku, a term that, when translated, means the month of the dead, a stark contrast to the season of Thanksgiving and bountiful harvests that's celebrated in many parts of the world during this month, isn't it? But before you let your imagination run wild with images of spectral apparitions and haunted houses, let's delve into the reason behind this gloomy moniker. The title isn't a nod to any morbid traditions or grim folklore. Instead, it's a poetic reflection of nature's cycle. You see, in November, all the seasonal trees and plants in Finland lose their leaves and go into a period of dormancy. It's a time when the vibrant greenery of summer and the fiery hues of autumn give way to barren landscapes, creating an eerie silence that blankets the entire country. In essence, Marasku is a tribute to the stillness and tranquility that descends upon the Finnish landscape in November. A chilling name for a chilling month. November's full moon has a rather furry name. It's traditionally known as the beaver moon. Now you may be wondering, what do beavers have to do with lunar phases? Well, the answer lies in the intriguing historical practices of North America's inhabitants. This moniker dates back to the time when indigenous people and colonial settlers would set their beaver traps. The goal was to catch these industrious creatures before the swamps froze over, ensuring a supply of warm winter furs. The beavers, on the other hand, would use this time to finish building their lodges, where they'd hunker down for the winter. So the beaver moon signals not just a change in the lunar cycle, but also a shift in the rhythm of life on Earth. Quite fascinating, isn't it? So, November isn't just about Thanksgiving, is it? Remember to like, share and subscribe or comment with your favourite fact from the video. Until next time.